Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Di and today I'm sharing with you my September manga haul. So, <laughs> the stack is a little bit large, but it was my birthday month in September, so I'm giving myself a little bit of leeway. We did catch up with a couple of series, kind of fill in some of the ones we're collecting, so that kind of contributed to the stack and then, yeah, there were a couple of things I wanted, so I let myself have those. So, Let's get started because I don't want this video to be very long and I tend to ramble. So I'm going to try to keep things as concise as possible. Uh, volume 4 of Our Not So Lonely Planet Travel Guide by Mone Sarai. This one is published by Tokyo Pop, rated teen. So this one follows our two characters here who are in a relationship. They decide to take a trip around the world before they get married. So in this volume, we are visiting... Corcovado, Rio de Janeiro, Bolivia, and Argentina. So I really have been enjoying the series. I have not yet read Volume 3, which I really need to do, uh, but I've enjoyed watching their travels and seeing all the places they visit and all of the things that they eat, and yes, I've been really enjoying that one. Next up, we have Volume 9 of Sasaki and Miyano. This one is published by Yen Press, rated teen, so this is a BL contemporary romance story about our two characters here on the cover. My daughter is really enjoying the series. I still have not gotten past volume one, but I need to do so. I do enjoy the art style. And so, yes, that was pretty much a purchase for the daughter. I have volume five of Animal Crossing, uh, Deserted Island Diary. So I haven't played Animal Crossing in a while, but I've been kind of itching to get back to our islands um, and just, you know, go and pull weeds and things like that. And this kind of helps to revisit some of the characters that we have there and some of the shenanigans that happen um, with the characters there. So yeah, that's a really, really fun kind of like fluff read. Then we picked up volumes two through six of I Cannot Reach You by Mika. Uh, this one is published by Yam Press Rated Teen. Did I tell you? Deserted Island Diary is published by Viz Media All Ages. Um, I Cannot Reach You, Volume 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Oh, that's so adorable! Um, this is a contemporary real romance about our two friends here. They have been friends since they were kids. One of them harbors feelings that goes past friendship. And the other one is kind of picking up that maybe... His friend might be in love with him and kind of doesn't really pick it up. So we're kind of following that struggle of, um, you know, realizing feelings and things, at least in volume one. I really enjoyed volume one. There's lots of pining and I'm just kind of wondering how long it's going to take for him to finally realize that, yes, his feeling does have his friend does have feelings for him and see if he's going to reciprocate those, which I'm thinking he will. So really enjoyed that so I decided to go ahead and pick up more of that series. I have a Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba Core Records. This one's by Koyoharu Gotoge published by Viz Rated Teen. So this is kind of a guidebook I guess. It says includes heartbreaking flashbacks in depth bios, excerpts from their journey and details of their specialties in addition to tons of bonus manga. So we finished reading A Demon Slayer this year with the Manga Club. Really, re really enjoyed it much more than I thought I was going to. And so we are now collecting everything Demon Slayer. And so had to have this one. Looking forward to that one. There are a few, uh, quite a few color pages in the beginning of that one. So that's exciting. I have volumes 7 and 8 of Mieruko-chan. This one is by Tomoki Izumi, published by Yen Press, rated older teen. So this is about a girl who can see spirits. And she doesn't realize, like, what's a spirit and what's not sometimes. And so she's kind of learning along the way how to deal with her abilities and kind of hone um, the things that she can do. And so I've been really enjoying the series. I read volumes 1 through 3. I read volume four last night with the uh, Manga Freakathon sprints that I was a part of, and I'm really, really enjoying the series, so I decided to go ahead and pick up more of that. 
And I'm hoping to read more of this series this month, especially with it kind of fitting the whole Manga Freakathon theme. Uh, Wolf Girl and Black Prince Volume 3 by Ayuko Hata. This one is published by Viz Rated Older Teen. So this is a romance, a contemporary romance, and that's pretty much all I need to know. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to checking that one out. I have Volume 3 of Sotus by Case by K. <laughs> um, this is original story uh, by Bittersweet. So this is a Thai BL story that's taken from a light novel. Um, this one is published by Yam Press Rated Mature. So this follows our two characters here who are in uh, engineering department of their college. The younger one, who is this one in the suit in the tie, um, is just starting at the college, and the older one is the kind of head of the student kind of department. And they still have a tradition at the school that kind of hazes incoming students and so yeah it kind of follows them obviously towards their romance <laughs> um, I really enjoyed volume one I thought it was interesting I would like to see how this story ends up I actually haven't read volume two yet but I'm hoping that the story will see the end of that whole hazing ceremony thing and you know answering the question as to why that sort of thing is still relevant to this day and obviously our two characters getting together so yes this is the end of the series and uh, I'm looking forward to it Stray Cat and Wolf Volume 1 by Mitsubachi Miyuki uh, this is published by Yen Press rated older teen this says when life gives you lemons and then you wake up in a hot guy's house so yeah that sounds interesting Another romance story that I wanted to try. Then we filled in some uh, Noragami, volume 16. Oh, I'm 13, 14, 15, and 16. So I have actually already read these volumes. This is by Adachi Toka, published by Kodansha, rated older teen. Um, I had originally borrowed them from the library when I read them, so... Um, I'm wanting to collect the rest of it, so we got another four volumes. This is about a minor god named Yato, who is at the beginning of the series doing a lot of small jobs just to have people remember him, because if people forget about him, he will cease to exist. And along the way, he meets a girl named Hyori. And Hyori ends up getting into an accident in which she is now able to separate her and a spirit from her body and so she's able to travel to uh, both planes of existence and at the beginning it's kind of a mysterious story about Hyori and Yato kind of finding mysterious things going on in the town and it progresses to something much bigger in the more current volumes so Yes, I really enjoyed this story, and that's why I'm collecting it. And to back that up, <laughs> I actually have volume 26, which is the most recent story. And you kind of can see here the difference in look from here, which is just kind of really sweet and kind of happy-go-lucky, I would say, uh, to this um, much, much more serious stuff going on at this part of the story still really enjoying it and I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen with that. I have volume one of Glitch by Shima Shinya. This one is published by Yam Press Rated Teen. So this is about two siblings who've moved into a new town and they're expecting things to be different, but not this different. <laughs> it says ghostly figures tower over and pass through buildings drawing no reaction from the locals, some of whom appear far from normal themselves. When Akira spots a strange creature outside her window, she and her new friends organize a search. If no one else can explain the uncanny appearances, the investigation club will get to the bottom of it. So I thought that sounded cute and very interesting, and so I'm looking forward to that. I have 
volume four of Ladies on Top by Nejigana Mehta. This one's published by Steamship. We rated older teens 17 plus. There is an explicit content warning. And so this is about our two characters here who like different things um, out of relationships and not what society expects them to want. And so we kind of follow them finally opening up about those desires and they're kind of experiencing and learning new things together. So I'm really looking forward to this volume. I haven't yet read volume three, but I did flip through it a little bit and I noticed something that I'm not a big fan of. So I'd like to see how that goes and then see how their like onsen retreat goes. Kind of seems like they're at like an onsen or something like that. So that'll be a nice cute date, I hope. So yes, I've been enjoying the series. I have a little bit of an issue with the way things are going um, in the bedroom with these two. I feel like we're focusing a lot on the male and not really the female's desires. But I'm hoping that that's going to turn around maybe in this volume. So I really like their relationship though. Their communication is good and they're really cute. So yes. I also have I Can't Refuse S Volume 1. This is by I Hibiki, uh, published by Steamship, rated Mature. Uh, so this is about a woman whose father makes them go bankrupt and they need money. And so she accepts a position to be the mistress of a wealthy man. But he likes experienced women in bed and she is not experienced. So the butler kind of steps in and teaches her the arts. And so, yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. It sounds interesting, and the art style looks really nice, too. So, got that one. I've got A Man and His Cat, Volume 9, by Umi Sakurai. This is published by Square Enix Manga, rated all ages. I am very behind on this series, but we read Volume 1 from the Manga Club, and I really enjoyed it. It was super cute, super wholesome, and a little bit sad, but it follows this man... Who goes in and buys this cat who has been overlooked by so many people because they seem to think that the cat is ugly but this man sees an adorable cat and he totes on the cat he buys the cat everything the cat could want and the cat just absolutely loves this man and it's just a really cute story and we get to meet a lot of other people in this man's life as well and some of the sadness comes from seeing the man's backstory in the volume one as well. So I've been collecting this series. I really, really need to catch up with the volumes, but really wholesome, really cute. And I'm looking forward to reading more of that. For the daughter, Persona 4, uh, Arena Ultimax by Rokuros, Rokuro Saito uh, and Atlas. This is published by Udon Entertainment. Uh, volume 1. So this is Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. Um, and again, no age rating on the back of this because Udon doesn't uh, put those on there. But I would say probably older teen. And this is a crossover between uh, Persona 3 and Persona 4. My daughter really, really enjoys uh, this franchise. We are reading Persona 4 for the Monica Manga Club. And so... I did start Persona 3 last Christmas. I need to read the rest of that as well. But I don't want to read Persona 3 and Persona 4 at the same time. So since we are reading Persona 4 for the Manga Club, I will complete that before going back and completing 3. And then I think I'd like to read this one as well because I have been really enjoying Persona 4. I have Volume 3 of Dinosaur Sanctuary by... Uh, Itaru Kinoshita and research consultant Shinichi Fujiwara. This one is published by Seven Seas. Rated teen. So this is about a kind of dinosaur zoo. Uh, not really Jurassic Park, but a zoo where people would go and see the animals in the pens and things. And we kind of follow our zookeepers and the challenges that they have with the animals that they're caring for. And there's a lot of interesting inserts about uh, why the animals were drawn certain ways based on actual research that has been done. And I just really enjoy volume one. I need to read volume two. 
and now we have volume three so i am continuing to collect this one because it was really really enjoyable there seems to be a little bit of a mysterious element as to what happened to one of the characters fathers as well so that makes it really interesting for me also i have volume one of the moon on a rainy night by kuzushiro uh, this one's published by kodansha rated older teen um, and this is a gl story about these two girls um, one of them is hard of hearing i believe but also musical and she tends to push people away with her icy demeanor but through one kind gesture it says she slowly begins breaking down the walls and so i thought that sounded cute it says something about uh, her dropping her sheet music and so with that musical element i thought it would be interesting for me because i also have a musical background and so yes i'm looking forward to trying that one out i have this which is you can have my back this is by minami kotsuna and illustrated by hitomi hitoyo uh, this one's published by yen on rated 18 and up so that is mature um, i believe this is a light novel because it's yen on but it is a kind of bl story and it follows a guy who was a proud knight of the realm but loses his life in a violent insurrection. His memories are inherited by a boy who is born the next day. And as the boy grows up, he starts to see uh, his predecessor's memories and also feel the feelings that his predecessor had for one of the princes of the land and there's like this mystery and some intrigue about what had happened to his predecessor that starts coming to light and it's kind of it seems like it's going to be fantastical a little bit kind of fantastical based on just the uh, kind of look of the characters and some of the things that are said in the summary and so it sounds like it's going to be really interesting and i'm looking forward to it so it's really thick though that is awfully thick <laughs> but yes very interested in that i didn't expect it to be that thick but looking forward to that one um yomushi pedal volume 23 as i've said before we've watched the anime really enjoyed it so this is a story about a high school cycling club and i've just really really enjoyed watching the story i think i read the first bind up last december or so for my manga advent calendar project which i will be doing again this year and so yes continuing to collect as it comes out because we really enjoyed watching the anime so this one is by wataru watanabe published by yam press rated teen <laughs> and then i have the last thing here which is volume six in the omnibus of fire force by atsushi okubo published by kodansha rated older teen so this is about our main character shinra i always forget his name who lives in a world where there's spontaneous combustion of uh, people and he has experience with this and as he grows up he decides he wants to become one of the special firefighters who fight these spontaneous combustions and there's this whole mystery about why that's happening and he's, you know, learning to use his abilities because all of the people in these special fire houses have abilities. And um, it's just a really interesting story. I'm really enjoying uh, what I've seen so far. I've watched the anime and I've read volume one. But I kind of want to have it all before I dive in because I feel like this is going to be one that I'm just going to need to continue to read and continue to read because there's a mysterious element with it and i want to know what's going on i want to know why certain things are happening and so yes continuing to collect this one and so that is everything that i have for my september manga haul let me know down in the comments below if you've picked any of this up are you reading any of these series are you enjoying them but please no spoilers and if nothing else and you'd just like to let me know that you were here if you could leave me a 
birthday cake <laughs> emoji because it was my birthday month in September. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. It would really help me out and that will do it for me today. So I hope you're all doing great. I hope you're all safe and healthy and until next time, take care and smile always. Bye.